Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about prime numbers. What is a prime number? By definition, a prime number is a natural number greater than one that can only be divided by itself and one. For example, the number two, the number two can only be divided by one in itself. The number three can only be divided by one in itself. But the number four can also be divided by two so the number four is not a prime number. That's the definition. Now, if we see a bunch of numbers like this, how do we figure out which is a prime number and which is not? Well, the smaller of the prime numbers are the numbers two, three, four is not, five is a prime number, six is not, seven is a prime number, and those are the only prime numbers that are smaller than 10. Now, those will help us figure out about the other ones, which ones are prime numbers or not, especially the numbers 2, 3, and 5. For example, 1, by definition, is already not a prime number, so we can get rid of the number 1. 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. We just determined that 4 is not. But in other words, any number that can be divided by another prime number is by definition, therefore, not a prime number. All even numbers can be divided by 2, Therefore, all even numbers cannot be a prime number. So 4 is not, 6 is not, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Wow, that already eliminates half of all the numbers can simply not be a prime number because they can all be divided by 2. Next, we look for numbers that can be divided by 3. Again, if a number can be divided by 3, other than 1 in itself, then that's also not a prime number. Any number, when we add the digits together, add up to a multiple of 3, that number is then divided by 3. For example, 9 is divided by 3, and so is 12, but 12 is an even number, so we can skip that. How about 15? Well, if I add the 1 and the 5 together, that gives me a 6. 6 is divisible by 3, which means 15 is divisible by 3. 18 is already there. How about 21? Again, if I add the 2 and the 1 together, it gives me 3. That means 21 is divisible by 3. And then I come over here, 27, 28, 30. How about 33? Well, if I add the two numbers together, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 can be divided by 3. Not a prime number. 39, if I add the 3 and the 9 together, that gives me 12. 1 plus 2 gives me 3. Or, another way of looking at it, since 3 is divisible by 3 and 9 is divisible by 3, 39 is divisible by 3. How about 45? I add 4 and 5 together, I get 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so that's also not a prime number. And that's it. So now I've eliminated all the numbers that can be divided by 2 and by 3. I already know that 5 is a prime number and 7. Next, I look for all the numbers that are divisible by 5. Those numbers end up in a 0 or in a 5. So if there's any left that I have not yet eliminated, for example, the number 25 can be divided by 5. So that's not a prime number. 35 can be divided by 5. Not a prime number. I already took care of 45 and so forth. All right. How about the number 7? Any numbers left that can be divided by 7. Well, I know that 49 is 7 times 7, so that can be divided by 7. Are there any others? Well, 1 times 7 is 7, 2 times 7 is 14, 3 times 7 is 21, 4 times 7 is 28, 5 times 7 is 35, 6 times 7 is 42, 7 times 7. Now that I don't have a lot of numbers left. I'll go down to what's left now and see if any of these numbers are prime numbers. 11 can only be divided by 11 in itself, that's a prime number. 13 can only be divided by itself in 1. 17 can only be divided by 1 in itself. 19 can only be divided by 1 in itself. You can see that once we've eliminated all the numbers that are divisible by 2, 3, 5, and 7, almost all the other ones remaining appear to be prime numbers. The number 23 is a prime number. The number 27, ah, we skipped one, we missed one here, because notice that 2 plus 7 together is 9. 9 can be divided by 3, so that's not a prime number. 29 is a prime number. 31 is a prime number. 37 cannot be divided by any other number than 1 in itself. 
41 is a prime number, 43 is a prime number, and 47 is a prime number. So those are the prime numbers that are 50 or smaller. Notice that we found all of the prime numbers below 50 by simply seeing which numbers could be divided by any of the other smaller prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7. And that's the easiest way to figure out if a number is prime or not. Go ahead and try to divide it by 2, 3, 5, and 7. Now, when the numbers get to be bigger, you then have to take the next few prime numbers into account. For example, can it be divided by 11, can it be divided by 13, and so forth, and then you eliminate those as well. But for the smaller numbers, this is the easiest way to find your prime numbers. That's how it's done.